Hello guys, today I am going to explain about uh, unit 3. So in the unit 3 we are having only 4 topics are there that is introduction to Hadoop and uh, they gave the brief uh, discussion about um, big data, Apache, Hadoop and Hadoop ecosystem we will discuss about all these things and then uh, moving the data in and out of the Hadoop and uh, understanding the inputs and outputs of MapReduce and then followed by data serialization. Next uh, we will see first uh, what is Hadoop. So we know about the Hadoop already we have discussed in unit 2 also. So let's again have a brief discussion about the Hadoop. So Hadoop is nothing but it is a platform where we are going to use it for uh, distributed storage purpose and uh, computational capabilities. So we can store lot of amount of data and as well as we can do lot of computations like analysis we can do. We can go for the recommendations. We can identify what are the risk engines and all. So all those things we can do only with the help of the Hadoop. So, where it is going to handle all the big data analytics. And Hadoop was first conceived to fix a scalability issue that existed in the Nutch. Actually, uh, Nutch is nothing but a project uh, where they want to fix some scalability issues in that project. Uh, so, uh, dog cutting came into the picture here and uh, at that particular time itself, uh, Google published a few papers here. So, which is called as the Google File System and MapReduce. So, a computational framework for the parallel processing. A computational framework for the parallel processing has been developed here. So, all these papers were was, uh, read by that uh, dog cutting and uh, they thought that these papers were useful for their project Nurture, uh, which was completely dependent on the web, uh, uh, web applications. And the successful implementation of these papers uh, uh, in Nutch resulted in the split to separate the two projects that is uh, the second of which became Hadoop and uh, the first class uh, Apache project. So the Nutch project and by extension Hadoop was led by Doc Cutting and Mike Caffrella. So actually these two are the persons who developed this uh, project that is uh, Nutch that means uh, uh, they started with the name Nutch and it was uh, extended with the name Hadoop. That is about the history of the Hadoop. Hadoop uh, came into the picture with the help of this dog cutting and Mike Caffarella are the two scientists. We can say it like these two are the fathers of the Hadoop. And next we will see this is the high level architecture of the Hadoop. So let's see See if you observe this particular uh, architecture of the Hadoop. Basically we are having only uh, two nodes will be there that is the master node and as well as the slave nodes will be there. Where in the master node again uh, this uh, master node it is responsible for storing only the metadata information here that means uh, we, are, we are having the map reduce will be there and storage will be there and if you take the slave nodes in that particular slave nodes all the actual data will be st uh, stored in the slave nodes so this is going to follow completely master slave architecture and if you want to add few more slave nodes means see all these are nothing but the external hard drives or the commodity hardware disks so we can add few more slave uh, nodes also here for these uh, master nodes and uh, what are the basic core Hadoop components means we are having first one is the HDFS. So we will see what is this HDFS. HDFS is uh, the storage component of the Hadoop actually. Uh, this will play a vital role in the Hadoop. It is a distributed file system where it is modeled after the GFS paper here. And uh, HDFS it is going to replicate uh, for a configured number of times. Why? Because uh, so we are having lot of data. I am going to maintain this particular data in three different uh, nodes in three different copies uh, the data will be maintained so uh, the both hardware and uh, software failure will be there and automatically we can re-replicate the data blocks on the nodes that have been failed so it shows the logical representation of the components in the hdfs that is the name node and as well as the data nodes so in each and every HDFS component, we are having the name nodes will be there and the data nodes will be there. Where name node, it is completely responsible for storing only the metadata information. What is meant by metadata information? When we have created that files, what is the origin of that file? Who created it? Its timestamp, its date and time, its properties, its size, everything we are going to maintain in the name nodes. But where we are going to store the actual data means actual data completely we are going to store it in the data nodes. And it is also an application which is going to be used by the Hadoop file system library to access the HDFS. 
Next one, now one more component is the map reduce. So, what is this map reduce? Map reduce is a batch based and distributed computing framework which has been modeled after the Google paper on map reduce. So, it will allow you to parallelize the work over a large amount of raw data, such as combining the web blocks with the relational data from an OLTP database to model how the users interact with your website. To model how the users interact with your websites. Next, uh, one more architecture. This is the HDFS architecture which shows uh, how a HDFS client is going to communicate with the master node and the slave nodes. Uh, here, uh, uh, see if you observe this, uh, this is my name node where I am having some few text files will be there. So, this is my file size. Uh, from where I am going to get all these files means I am going to get from my client applications. Uh, so, from this client application, I am going to send that information to the name node and as well as I am going to store my data in the data nodes. So, I have been distributed like block A and block B here. And again, these blocks I am going to replicate in the uh, few other nodes here. And uh, if you take this particular application, I am going to store it in the three blocks that is the B, C, D like that. Uh, randomly, I am going to store on all these data nodes about my file application. And uh, if you see here, data nodes and the name nodes, these are communicated. Uh, um, these data nodes again they are going to communicate to each other and they are going to communicate with the name nodes also. So, this is the entire representation of the HDFS architecture. Next one, uh, how a client will submit a job to the map reduce? So, you can see here uh, what is that uh, client is going to submit a job to the Hadoop cluster that is the, in the map reducer where uh, this master node it is responsible for distributing your jobs. Uh, and uh, see here, I am going to distribute my job to the mapper node and as well as the reducer node here. So, I am going to give along with that uh, input text files or input data also I am going to give. Where I am going to send this to the mapper file and as well as followed by the reducer file. So, what the mapper function will do means it is going to decompose all your given text files into some uh, tuples here. And these particular tuples, they are going to send it to the uh, reduce function. And this reduce, it will combines all the files. Uh, and it will aggregate and it will do the summarization and it is going to give the output data here. So, that is how we are going to submit our job uh, to the map reduce. Next, if you see here, we are having the map reduce shuffle and sort uh, will be there. So, what is this map reduce uh, shuffle and sort? We will see here, uh, we are having the mapper 1 is there and mapper 2 is there. I am having the map output as there. Why? Because I have splitted all my functions here into cat1, dog1, dog1, document1, hmaster, doc1. So, in between I am having shuffling and sorting will be there. Followed by, see if you see mapper1 and mapper2, I am going to reduce and I am going to, see I am having two cats are there. One is in the document1 and another one is in the document. I am going to list out and I am going to figure it out uh, how many times this uh, cat is repeated in both the documents. That is cat comma list of document1 comma document2. So, again in the for the same chipmunk also, chipmunk it is there in the only document too and if you take the dog also, dog it is there here in the mapper 1 and as well as the mapper 2. So, I have written it like document 1 and the document 2 and I am having the H master is there. What is this H master? H master is uh, we are having the document 1 and uh, in the document 2, in both the documents we are having. So, this is about the reducer function. So, if you are going to give any sort of input means how it is going to pass it to the map function and then followed by uh, reducer function, we are going to get the outputs like this. Next one is the map reduce uh, logical architecture. So, we will discuss about uh, map reduce logical architecture and uh, Hadoop ecosystem in the next upcoming videos. So, hope you like this video guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Those who are going to watch for the first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel guys.